What's going on guys, Bengal again here coming back at you with another video back on Lions franchise and I've made a change. Why did I say it like that? I put a lot of air into the word change. Change. Rashad Reese is the new starting running back. DeAndre Swift is still going to get carries, don't get me wrong. He's our starting power back, he's going to play quite a bit. But I'd really like for Rashad Reese to get a development trait upgrade at some point. And the growing theory is that in order for that to happen, he's got to be the starter. So we're going to at least try it out for the final few games of the season here. And like for a player as good as he is, it doesn't even make sense that he would not be, you know, anything better than normal development. Had a pretty good year on the ground his rookie year, but has taken his rushing game to another level. Does have four fumbles. Yeah, he puts the ball on the ground a decent bit. And then receiving, he was unbelievable in 2022 as a rookie. Caught 111 passes for over 1,300 yards, 12 touchdowns. This season through 14 games, has 910 receiving yards and six touchdowns on 77 catches. He's still been very, very good, right? And there is the, well, he just force-feed it to him. Do the best offenses in the league not revolve around their best players getting the ball? He's also gotten what you guys refer to as a swag update. He's got double wristbands now and an armband on the inner elbow. And his helmet has also been changed to uh, differentiate from DeAndre Swift. He now has, what is this called? It is called the uh, Rydell Speedflex Robot Z. You can see the Z there on the jaw area of the face mask. So that has been changed. I know some people are not going to like that. I think it looks very cool. You guys were right. It probably was time for him to get some updated stuff. Paul Garrison was also slightly changed. Different color arm sleeves, but we're still keeping it pretty quarterback based. And a lot of QBs do do that arm sleeve thing there. And we're also changing his helmet to what was recommended, which is the Vices Zero. So we've done that. We also have the privilege of being matched up against Lamar Jackson today, one of the toughest quarterbacks to play against in Madden because of his unbelievable speed. But we're going to try and negate his scrambling. He's just, that's the biggest area that can hurt us. He's a really good passer too, but I think anyone is in franchise, but not every quarterback can run like he can. So our goal is to beat the Ravens scrambled legs. Oh, I don't like that at all. I don't like that at all. But beat the Ravens and hold Lamar Jackson under 75 yards rushing. That's capable of happening. Our defense gets plus five play rec. We also have 14 staff points. What can we even spend those on? Uh, somebody mentioned weekly strategy with changing the weekly goal of the staff to get more points. I could get behind that. Never really looked into it, honestly. So our game day goal is to get three rushing touchdowns. Well, we are running the ball a bit more now so we could change that i suppose recover two fumbles for the defensive coordinator i gotta change that yeah let's let's change that no conversions on fourth hmm i like that one i feel like there's a good chance that will happen but uh, you know you never know and then offensive coordinator i i like the three rushing touchdowns but no turnovers today. Imagine, imagine that. Let's try to get three rushing touchdowns. Well, nah, you know what? We can pass for 275 yards. We can do that. All right, let's 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 do that. And then for the head coach, you know, we'll decide this uh, later. 70% time of possession. Well, we're not going to do that. Never reach fourth down as one. That's an insane one. I've never even looked into these. Let's do... Let's do don't allow a sack. I think that's in my control. And then the weekly game plan, we can do row two touchdown passes. So what's my goal here? They're not rushing based, right? Okay, I, th I think it's a little bit uh, a little bit more manageable. And then we've been trying to boost up the defense as much as possible. We've been getting all of these. Are these worth only nine? They are. So we can do. Let's boost up. It's interesting that this is only at like one tier. Let's boost tackling 
for safeties. We also have a breakout player challenge. It won't be for Rashad Reese, probably, but it is for DeAndre Swift. Okay. <laughs> I know I benched you, but all right. Now maybe DeAndre Swift becomes the focal point. He wants to pick up where he left off last week and show these dudes what an elite running back looks like. Four plus touchdowns or 200 plus yards rushing slash receiving. Well, it's not going to be four touchdowns, probably. Oh my God. All right. Well, Rashad Reese is now no longer the focus. So remember that big speech I made at the beginning? Maybe next episode, but an opportunity to get another superstar X Factor player. Of course, we only have one with Imani Uruwariye. It's just too big to pass on. And let me look at offensive linemen. Let me look at tackles. Maybe we'll see something in here. There never really is. There never really is. The tackles are always pretty poor. But I'm hoping that there can be like an early second round guy. They just, they just don't exist. They just don't exist, dude. Russ Clemens is back from injury. Injuries have been a problem for him lately. He's missed a lot of games. I think we should contain the QB scramble. Now that will limit the type of pressure that we can get on him. But it's going to make us... You know better against defending that which is our game day goal and then our offensive strategy running has worked i don't know why they're showing justin tucker <laughs> why is that the top threat dude i mean i guess that is true for the ravens at times but yeah i like i like the uh what is what is run outside better juke let's do run outside and hopefully everybody stays healthy that's the biggest thing Clean bill of health so far for the offense. Perfect. And then defensively, I want to see clean bill of health as well. Back strain for... Oh, no. Braxton Turner. We cannot afford to lose a star linebacker in this game. Of course, you guys may remember Braxton Turner now has star development. And our star young inside backer, the rookie out of USF, is going to miss this game. And he is turning really, really good, really fast. Playing up to an 83 overall with morale. And we are not going to have him in a really important game. I'm going to elevate Eric Hudson above Alex Anzalone. We just need the speed out there. Upgrade for Solomon Clifford. Okay. I'm also going to put DeAndre Swift as our third down running back. We need him to get superstar X Factor. Bottom line. So Rashad Reese, his impact may be much less than usual this week. We still want to win the game, but we're going to try to win the game with our guy Rashad Reese sidelined. Well, maybe not sidelined so much. He's just playing a different role this week, which is primary slot receiver. We can move him around, but this is a big win. This is a big win. We need it. Lamar Jackson has thrown, he's thrown a lot of interceptions this year. He's thrown a ton, you know, based on his touchdown to interception ratio. Don't get me wrong. I'm aware, as BJ Dickerson's going to play some linebacker right out the gate. Uh, I'm aware, look at Richard Russell shedding, and then of course we can't make the tackle. But um, I'm aware of the interceptions I've thrown, but Paul Garrison's also thrown almost 40 touchdowns. So we'll take a few more interceptions for double the touchdowns. Second and four, again, we just got to contain Lamar Jackson. He's going to throw underneath, and there's a, there's a flag there. I assume that's going to be a hold. I didn't think Lamar Jackson was going to throw at me. But that play is going to come back. It's going to be second and long for them. Second and 14. Just got to make sure clicking the right X button. Haven't played on Xbox really in years, and that still gets me. Lamar Jackson stepping up and throwing away. Will be third and long now. Massive third and 14. Lamar Jackson scrambling. Sends somebody after him. Throws across field. His foot was out. The fact that that throw was almost completed is ridiculous. Caught a bit of a break that his foot was out of bounds because that should have been an easy completion. After a ridiculous throwing attempt, and amazing throw from Lamar Jackson. Good return by Reese, though. Also, these are 100% our 
our new like home uniforms i think they're way better than the current ones we have so this new era of lions football that should be a winning tradition as deandre swift takes it for a really nice 15 to start 18 even these lions uniforms are going to be you know um in some ways more like significant than you think because they're going to mean a lot more they're going to mean a lot we're going to check down to Swift again. He's got to be a big part of our offense today. Also, there are a few of you guys that like to point out the stats in the comments. And somebody said that Paul Garrison, who had been so awesome for us two games in a row against Minnesota and against Denver as we get it to TJ Hawkinson for a first, threw 33 passes completed in a row over like a three-game stretch or something like that. That would be an NFL record. I think, or something along those lines. So that's a cool a cool stat. I don't have it exact as we dump it down to Ian Thomas. Another fan favorite of the comments I saw. Apparently he's had a pretty good season so far in Carolina. I haven't watched a ton of the Panthers play and I haven't really noticed an amazing impact from Ian Thomas, but good for him. As we are set up with first and goal here from the six. Offense is moving. We're gonna jet touch pass to Rashad Reese. Spin back and he is close to the touchdown. I mean, I want the touchdown for Swift to potentially get four this game. I think the pass would have been wide open. That's a situation where I would almost always pass. Almost always. And I chose to run instead. For selfish reasons, obviously. Try to run here on third and goal. Play four down territory. The blocks just were not there. The blocks just were not there. And uh, we didn't get close enough. I'm going to kick the field goal. It stings, but it's got to happen. 3-0 Lions. I just... I can't change up the offense too much. Because at that point... What are we doing? Right? At that point... We're just uh, asking to lose the game. For the sake of getting a development trade. Which is super important long term. And to get the Superstar X Factor ability would take DeAndre Swift up another level I think. But we can't sacrifice you know, all the good we've been doing and and losing a big game like this just for the sake of that. As Jackson's going to check down, I was just lost. Didn't think J.K. Dobbins would be out on a route. Good way of Lamar Jackson to take advantage of that. And J.K. Dobbins just hidden underneath on a block and release. That was the problem. And Hudson here could be really, really awesome as a looping blitzer. It's actually going to be a run, though. Nice tackle by Russ Clemens. It's good to have him healthy and on the field. Hopefully that's not a jinx. Alex Anzalone in man coverage is probably a huge mistake. We're going to get out of that. And get underneath. Jackson going to throw a crossbody. It, it's going to happen all game. It's unavoidable. Anytime I send somebody after him, yeah, we're going to contain this scramble a little bit. But there's really nothing we can do about him throwing, you know, crossbody at these awkward angles on the run. It's just going to happen. He's got blocked there. Davidson... I totally misjudged that angle. Cameron Ford, am, am I okay right now? In all uh, disclosure, I have been playing NCAA where the game plays a little bit differently, but I just misread that angle terribly twice. Well, I'm, not, I'm usually not quite that bad. Okay, that's a, that's, that's a rough touchdown to allow. Get it to Swift. I tried to take that back up the middle. It wasn't a bad decision. We got 10 yards. And DeAndre Swift can get receiving yards as well. Rashad Reese is going to play. I mean, we got to just keep the offense moving. But if DeAndre Swift is open, I got to throw it to him. That was a dangerous one. But we get it to Tyrell Williams. I've been really conservative with the football. I know that's not everybody's favorite to watch, right? But I think... Playing the safe game and getting these completions is better for the offense overall. Look at that throw to TJ Hawkinson. Dead eye from the pocket. Beautiful throw. And not a super easy one at that either. There is a margin for error that's, you know, pretty small there. So we'll drop back the throw. And we're going to roll out. And we're going to throw deep. That's such a mistake. DeAndre Swift had positioning though. Ball sails through his hands. That's maybe getting a little bit too aggressive. That's forcing the ball. That's exactly what forcing the ball is. Have to avoid that. Have to avoid that. Thrown outside of Rashad Reese. 
Yeah, he just gets open. That change of direction against some random corner. Like, you're making a mistake in man coverage. Also, I'd love to switch this. Because I want Swift to the long side of the field. However, that puts Rashad Reese not in the slot, which is not what I want. We're going to snap that. And we're just going to throw it to Tyrell Williams. Now, snapping the ball while Rashad Reese was in motion leaves him in as a blocker, which actually happened to work well in that situation. There's going to be an injury on the field, too. Second catch of the game for Tyrell Williams. A lot of you guys wanted Tyrell Williams to play more, or excuse me, play less. <laughs> play not more. Play less with Richie Owens, the rookie, getting a lot more snaps. But here's the thing. Tyrell Williams continues to play well. Like, play above his rating, even. So I'm not really in a hurry to get him out of here. Richie Owens, we're going to have for a while. So we're going to check down to DeAndre Swift. He's wide open. He's going to have a walk-in touchdown. Deshaun Elliott was lost. And we actually probably saw that individual matchup at times a few years ago. I don't know if the timeline matches up quite exactly. But Texas played Georgia in the, was it the Peach Bowl? A few years ago. And DeAndre Swift and Deshaun Elliott could have been on those teams. DeAndre Swift certainly would have been. I'm not sure if he played because guys opt out all the time now. Um, Deshaun Elliott. I don't know if he would have been on that team or not. Might have been one year removed as well. Let me let me check into that for no reason. Okay, so it was the Sugar Bowl. My mistake. 2019 Sugar Bowl. I couldn't remember the exact bowl game. Uh, Deshaun Elliott was drafted that year. So he did not uh, participate. He was drafted, I guess, the year before, right? Um, but DeAndre Swift did play. But the leading rusher in that game for Georgia was Elijah Holyfield. The son of Evander Holyfield. Not even made up. Just a, a weird coincidence. Uh, I forgot about him. It's amazing how well you can remember these guys or know these guys. But I don't think I could have come up with that name, you know, for a million dollars. Like, maybe if I had the hint of, you know, a son of a former boxer, I get it 100%. As Romeo Quara was injured on the play. But man... Elijah Holyfield completely forgot about him but these guys for college football like you know they'll be impact players and never come close really to making the NFL or sticking around in the NFL so they are really tough names to remember but they'll be guys that you know are are memorable because they were starters in college on big teams and that's the case with so many different players like I'll never forget some of the West Virginia guys as this is checked down to number 27, Ray Rice. That's J.K. Dobbins. Um, Bruce Shoulder for Aquara, but that's a really nice stop on third down. But I'll remember guys in West Virginia that played in nearly no role in the NFL at all. Pat White is the first one that comes to mind. Steve Slayton had a decent NFL career with the Texans. I, I, career is a bit of a stretch, but he had a decent uh, rookie year at least, maybe a few-year run. Tavon Austin was sick on that team as well. Yeah, I mean, Steve Slayton was in the year for five, or in the NFL for five years. Played 45 career games. Not really a huge impact, but he was awesome at West Virginia. And Pat White was the huge one there. It's just, uh, you know, how many guys who didn't watch college football in that time will be able to tell you Pat White is? Not many. As we're going to get it to TJ Hawkinson. Nearly intercepted it. But the ball was just perfect. Anyway, that about ends my little... Nostalgic rant there. As we're going to hand it off to DeAndre Swift on the RPO. Probably wasn't the best move. And now our starting center's down. And JC Treader. That is not good. I mean, Rashad Reese is just wide open. Great ball from Garrison. I can't avoid Rashad Reese. He just gets open. And muscle cramps for JC Treader. Did I keep him in the game or not? I, I clicked that, you know, way too quickly. Try and get outside here. Not really much. I mean, DeAndre Swift is just wide open. They're giving him such a cushion. We'll take an easy first down. And again, I've been nearly perfect with Paul Garrison. Because for the most part, I know I did try to stretch the field with DeAndre Swift on a crazy throw, much like this one. Um, but it's just, you know, taking what's there, making the smart throws... Not trying to do too much. Reading the field. Working through a progression. And a better offensive line has helped me do that. they played better in recent weeks, for sure. I hope they blitz here, because this slant's going to be super open. Why, dude, why? Why? Why is that an interception, man? 
That's exactly what I'm supposed to do there. Cornerback playing outside leverage, giving up the slant, giving up the slant. Ball comes out early. What is the route from Godwin? Give me a break, dude. Get in front of the defensive back. I mean, just ridiculous. That, that's an example of a real-life play that's an overwhelming success versus a Madden play that just doesn't work. I'm, I'm really heated about that one, actually. Nice tackle from Russ Clemens, but that's just an interception that I, I don't think I, I needed or deserved. Definitely didn't need it. Oh, that's super open. What in the world? I missed the hit stick. That could have been huge if he didn't step out of bounds. I need to be better tackling in space. How am I bad at that? I really don't get it. I know everyone thinks I'm just terrible at video games. Back in my day, I played a lot of competitive Call of Duty. A lot. And, uh, I mean, I have... I don't know if they're still public on the channel. I have a lot of just me just destroying people in public match as well. You know, I, I used to be quite good at whatever video games I played. Uh, clearly, not anymore. I mean, clearly. Third and four. Get on the back. They're throwing underneath. It's a broken tackle, and we're right there to wrap up. Richard Russell. But it is a first down, the Hollywood Brown. I'm blitzing Okwara. I'm going to play Okuda. It's a run. You know, that's not so bad. Man, J.K. Dobbins is averaging a lot on the ground. So there was holding on the play. I'm going to give them second and 14. And then I'm going to drop seven. And they're going to throw a screen. That's actually a pretty good time for that. Russ Clemens is all over it, though. Not really a lot to do there if you're J.K. Dobbins. And it's third and 12. Now, we got a soft squat going on. Now, sometimes you guys have pointed this out. I don't notice that it's soft squat. I think they're just playing... Oh, what? Dorian Tompkins! Uh, that's why he was freaking fake blocking. Dorian Tompkins just absolutely leveled the guy. Uh, but you guys would point out... Oh, he's in soft squat. This is going to play like... You know, like zone match, right? Um, it, you know, it will at times turn into man coverage. However, I don't notice that. So if I critique it from being, you know, like defending the flat and he, he takes it, I just don't, I don't notice. I don't really think a lot before I call a coverage. I just click the first one and ask Madden. And then sometimes we'll audible if I don't like man coverage. It's pretty much what it is. But the score is going to be 10 to 10. Baltimore's played well. Uh, I don't think that we've played terribly should have scored a touchdown in the first drive and then threw a really, really, really frustrating interception the last time out. And that's why this is tied here. I don't really have much to say about it. I mean, you guys know how I feel. As DeAndre Swift is going to take this to the outside. Great blocking. Even broke a tackle there. Look at DeAndre Swift go. I'm just being patient, following the blocks and making stuff happen. You have three defensive linemen out there. I'm going to run the ball down your throat. Old school football. Run the damn ball. Tell me not to take a shot here to Rashad Reese. Tell me not to. Tell me not to. I shouldn't have, but you know what? I should have because he had to step down the field, but we just couldn't get the ball there on time. You know what? They sent a lot of guys, and we just didn't have time to deliver the ball. Uh, here's what I'm going to hope happens. I'm going to hope that this is man coverage. Godwin will be my check down. I'm going to put him on an in, and I want to throw to DeAndre Swift. That's just such a stupid throw. Rashad Reese can't catch it. Ah, oh, it's such a stupid throw. It's not open. I know it's not open. I've played enough bad in 22 to know that it's not open. You think I'm punting on fourth and two from the 42? You're out of your mind. That's what bad coaches do. Bad coaches don't trust the team. I trust the team. We're going to make it happen. We're going to make it happen. Good touch pass. DeAndre Swift first down. That was the only thing that was really open there. I love my composure there. <laughs> Paul Garrison stands tall in the pocket. Just throws the ball exactly where it needs to be. You know, leads the guy. Chris Godwin. We had some options there, right? TJ Hawkinson was open. A little bit of a tougher throw. Also, this, this tight end screen is beautiful. That's beautiful. With the blitz to TJ Hawkinson. I mean, that's money. That's absolutely money. We're going to call a timeout. I've never seen that play before. It's designed for Travis Kelsey, but I liked it. I liked it a lot. Also, let's slot fade Chris Godwin and read the outside corner. You're giving me underneath. I'm going to take it. DeAndre Swift, big truck stick. 
We're down to the two yard line. Okay, there's not a lot of time left. Where did the time just go? Where did the time just go? Tight end screen. TJ Hawkinson, walk in touchdown. That's how you manage the clock. I totally didn't just freak out and almost throw it away. <laughs> That's how you manage the clock. We took advantage of the opportunity, ran that tight end screen again, and when we see that guy blitzing down, they're gonna send zero cover, zero blitz, right? They're gonna blitz everybody. We're gonna have open guys. Beautiful. Great way to end the first half, 17-10. We're finding our rhythm, of course, DeAndre Swift didn't get a touchdown there. It said our scoring summary was turnover on downs in the bottom left, you probably can't see it because of my face cam. Oh my god, I just almost had a heart attack. I'll tell you why. Because earlier my face cam was taking up the whole screen. I'm like, oh my god, did I not adjust it earlier? Because I did, for the podcast, I don't know if you guys listen to my cover, not cover two podcasts, I see my old one. Uh, the Couch Quarterbacks podcast with Not the Expert in Wheels. Link is down in the description on Spotify, iTunes, and video version on YouTube, right? So I have to go full screen every time. And I totally didn't remember if I adjusted it before the episode. I don't know why I thought I didn't, but... Whew, heart attack, heart attack, heart attack. Okay, let's get a little bit of an update here on DeAndre Swift. We need 200 total yards or four touchdowns. Right now, DeAndre Swift has 48 rushing yards. Doing great on the ground. Not as well as DeAndre, or J.K. Dobbins, but pretty good. And he's got... 63 receiving yards. So we are currently on pace. We are on pace. But, I mean, he had some pretty big plays in half number one. So I'm a little bit worried about that. But we'll see what happens here. First and 10. Let's get it there. We got Ian Thomas. Keep playing a big impact, big fella. He's so good after the catch. It's my favorite part about him. Also, I've seen this play be extremely effective. Usually, it's Rashad Reese. I think his route running really helps. He's going to have to check down to the tight end. And TJ's not going to catch it. Right, we're going to have some options here. They're playing a contain. We're getting out. Look at that. Look at that. Garrison taking off. Lower the shoulder. He's going forward for the first. It would have been a really tough throw to DeAndre Swift. Decided not to make it and just trust Vanilla Vic wearing it this time. Vanilla Vic merch link in the description. It's just super open. Garrison and Rashad Reese. He's open down the sideline. Trying to make a man miss. A little juke back, but a huge, huge play by Rashad Reese there. He just gets open, man. Not much more to it than that. We're going to have Ian Thomas in motion. We have numbers on the right side. This could be a DeAndre Swift touchdown. Need good blocks, of course. I mean, wow. <laughs> what a play in the backfield. Mario Edwards, is that who that is? And I'm going to take a sack. I, that's the worst opportunity or worst time to do it. Tyus Bowser came screaming in, held the ball too long. We had an out open. I didn't, didn't throw it. Third and goal. Inside lead to DeAndre Swift. It wasn't open. I'm forcing it to Swift. It's not good. We're going to take the 20 to 17 lead following hopefully a successful kick here. And Tyler Bass drills it. But man, haven't been able to take advantage of our opportunities. We scored 20 points. Hasn't been all that bad. Hasn't been all bad. But it's got to be better. And DeAndre Swift got negative yards on that drive, I think. So that's really not going to help our cause. Also, we have big time momentum. The away team QB has trouble seeing deeper receivers. They're going to have to start stretching the field at some point. And Lamar Jackson might not be able to go to these crazy, unbelievable crossbody down the field deep throws. They tried to there and he got it. Big hit Derek Davidson. There is a flag though. I have a feeling this one's coming back. What could it be other than a hold? And that's exactly what it is. This Ravens offensive line has hurt them big this game. And that's the rookie out of Florida, Evan Bush. Third and eight. I have Aquara in coverage. I, it's so bad. I'm going to try and take care of it. Took it away. They're going deep. Switching on to Cameron Ford. He forces the incompletion. I might even start or stop switching on. It just gets so dicey. Our defense continues to play really well. Ravens only have 70 yards of offense, and Lamar Jackson hasn't even tried to scramble. Hasn't even tried. They're sending a blitz. We're going to throw at the blitz side. 
Pick up some good yards there to TJ Hawkinson. And it's third and two. Gonna try and run the ball, man. It, it hasn't been effective since really the first quarter. But we got space there. DeAndre breaks a tackle. Nice first down. He's back up to 48 yards rushing now. We got to do a lot better than that if he's going to get Superstar X Factor. Have to. We need one big play. That's what it's going to take. We need some type of coverage breakdown. You know, we got to scheme him open or something, but they're just letting me go underneath. Unless it's to DeAndre Swift. They're taking that away. I have a good feeling about this. We got play action here. We're going to have Rashad Reese work across formation. They might lose DeAndre Swift. We're going deep down the field. Tyrell Williams nearly makes an incredible grab. That is a little bit too aggressive. A little bit too aggressive for my liking. Uh, it's kind of maniacal that I just even tried that. Need Tyrell to run off. The best thing that we can have here is man coverage. But we have to check down to Reese instead. That's going to be real close. They're going to give us a first down. We're going to need time for this to work. Need Rashad Reese, or excuse me, DeAndre Swift to release. They're all over it. They're all over it. And I just took a sack. Get rid of the ball, man. Throw it away. If it's not there, throw it away. I'm just watching DeAndre Swift the entire play. It's brain dead. Because now it sets up third and super long. And we're going to lose the football. And losing the football could mean losing the game. As I check down. Oh, I'm disgusting. So you got Marlon Humphrey on DeAndre Swift, man. It's not fair. I, what are they doing? They have CB1 on running back one. Feels like a, a misuse there. But it worked out because I'm only going to one player. The Superstar X Factor is so important. I can't have this opportunity and not cash in. To run. Take it away. Good tackle, Anthony Walker Jr. Good tackle. It's going to take us probably to the end of the third quarter. And we are running out of time. I'll tell you for sure that four touchdowns with DeAndre Swift is not happening. I don't. I mean, maybe, but probably not. 200 yards, I think, is our best bet. And we need a lot more yards to make that happen. And we just allowed a first down. Lamar going to take off, throw a crossbody. It was just super wide open. We're just... Uh, we're not really playing press man so those type of routes are going to get super open should we trust it should we trust it nah I mean we have Jason Verrett a corner a cornerback someone whose entire job is to be good in coverage and he allows a running back a running back to get wide open a running back in man coverage Lamar going to scramble. He's going end zone. I, I'm locked. I, I can't move. Switched on to BJ Dickerson. There's a flag. I need this to be illegal touching. I need this to be illegal touching. Thank you. Thank you. Dude, I switched on and it ran BJ Dickerson out of the end zone and then I could not bring him back in to make the play. We got saved there. Maybe that's why it didn't let me move, but... It was really annoying, and that's super open. Can't tackle. Okay, another first down. Hudson trying to get after him. Lamar throwing. Orowarie redirect. Can't tackle. Oh, this defense is just giving up. It's a run, and it's a touchdown. That is not good. That is not good. They just did whatever they wanted to on that drive. They're making this a game. And I'm still too focused on giving the ball to DeAndre Swift, who clearly... Nah, he's just not there. Out to DeAndre Swift. He's got speed. A little bit. But six yards are not going to cut it. We need big gains. Oh, I like this quick pitch. I like this quick pitch. The thing that... Or the reason this works so well with Rashad Reese is he's got elite speed to make this happen. When we tried this run earlier with DeAndre Swift, it really didn't work. We got to cut this upfield. I mean, it's a good game, but they're just too fast on the back end pursuing. You got to be faster. You got to be faster. I mean, the blocking just is not there. And I think the speed of DeAndre Swift is really hurting us. It's not that he's that slow, right? 
but he just isn't fast enough to make these plays happen. And it's it's really, really sad. Is that open enough? Nice catch, Rashad Reese. It's not an easy one. Okay, they're moving the safety down and over. I need blocks. Running this wide side pitch again. I can't snap the ball. Okay, finally got it off. Thomas in motion. Give me blocks. All right, we got him. We got him. We got him. That's a big block. Queens fast. Lower the shoulder. Let's go, DeAndre. Once again, they're bringing the safety down. I'm so cool with checking down here. It's not even funny. We just got to get guys out of the picture. Third and nine. They played the flat. It was the one thing that we couldn't have happened, and it happened. Kick is up and good right down the middle. Going to make this 23-17, which doesn't really help that much. Because a touchdown still puts Baltimore uh, ahead of us and on top if they get the extra point. It's a terrible drive. I, I mean, the one thing I can say is that I'm really not like trying to score. As much as I am, I'm trying to get Superstar X Factor. That's my biggest goal of the game is to get a player superstar X Factor. So the offense has completely changed, and it changed, obviously, a lot for the worse. DeAndre Swift has 70 yards rushing and 81 yards receiving. We need 50 yards. They're checking down. How am I not in position to make that play, man? What's the point of reading it? And there's no overtime. There's no overtime. We're not even going to get the football back. No, oh, we just got pancaked. We're not going to get the football back. There's literally no time. I mean, let alone get the football back. We might just lose the game. The likelihood of that feels real high right now. And that's just on me and man coverage. Big hit, no fumble. Over the middle! Or a Warrior, jump the route, please. We forced the incompletion, okay. That's fine. Man, a superstar X Factor is just not going to happen. Devastating. Devastating. Lamar! <laughs> so dumb you can throw that ball with no penalty. 35 seconds remain. Lamar throwing deep. Davidson! Intercepted and out of bounds. I mean, Lamar's driving down the field right now. Driving down the field. Big hit. Nope. Final timeout, Baltimore. I mean, we got to keep him out of the end zone, man. This is the game on the line. Jackson throwing. Big hit. We stopped him on the one. Game over. Huge tackle at the goal line. And the Ravens do not get into the end zone. No superstar X Factor. But we hold on to win the game. So, I guess we had to take that. Garrison had a good game. One interception, you know, it'll happen, I guess. Two touchdowns for Dobbins. We were dominated. You know, we just allowed a ton of rushing yards. But DeAndre Swift, man. Like, we just... I don't know, maybe I didn't run the football enough. He got 14 attempts, right? But it just wasn't enough 81 receiving yards he had a lot of targets touchdown for Hawkinson touchdown for Swift uh just a frustrating game all around I mean it's good to get the win our defense felt really really bad at times sack for Edwards and Bowser I mean we didn't have any sacks no picks interception allowed to Marcus Peters but no superstar x factor is gonna sting you know on part uh, upon further review in the end zone Brian Davis saved us the game here with this tackle because Davidson was kind of getting bowled over. I don't know if Duvernay would have been able to fight for the end zone, but it was real close. And then Davis, I think, saves the game with a tackle, and that ball got so close. It got so close. It almost looked like he was dragging him to the end zone, right? This was insane. But he is just short. The ball never crossed. It's, it's so close. Breakout player. I mean, we didn't get it, man. Um, 
I, what can I say, man? We got it. We played our game and we just did what we needed to do. <laughs> okay. Hey, I'm not complaining. All right, we got Superstar X Factor for DeAndre Swift. Uh, that's bugged, clearly. They fixed that, though. Maybe it's back. I'm glad about it. 2,500 XP for the defense, too, is going to be really big. Uh, what a week. We improved to 11-4. and four. We control our own destiny in the NFC North. The Packers are 9-6. and six. With one win, we clinch the division. And we'll end this episode by upgrading players. For the start of next episode, and first of all, I mean, look, DeAndre Swift is Superstar X Factor now. Like, I, I don't even know what my focus of the video is going to be. It probably won't even say it in the title, honestly. Maybe next video? Maybe next video? Uh, what should we make his ability here? He's been good at trucking recently. It's very odd. Because he only has 75 trucking. 84 break tackle, though. What do I want to give him? Bulldozer. Reach for it. Wrecking Ball is cool. Maybe we'll do Wrecking Ball. It's not really his style of running, but he could be more Thunder and Lightning now with Rashad Reese. So I'm going to do power back. And we're going to try to boost up trucking even more. Trucking plus three. Let's get it. Near an 80 overall now. He's only 24 still. That's insane. I feel like we treat him like he's some old vet. Or I guess I do, right? But he's only 24. It's just at 90 speed that makes him a little bit slow. Upgrades though for a lot of the team. That's what 2500 XP does. Look at all these defenders. It's all defense. Dorian Tompkins. What are we focusing on for him? Run stopper would be the scheme fit. Man, I would like to get him up into 90 power moves and just make him, you know, an Aaron Donald type player. Even though he doesn't have that, you know, that same profile, we can turn him into a Reggie White type player. 89 power moves. Get 97 strength. I mean, tell me that's not Reggie White. Tell me that's not Reggie White. Deshaun Hand. A little bit of a weird player, Deshaun Hand is. And you know what I might want to do? Switch him and Dorian Tompkins. So, Power Rusher is a scheme fit for Dorian Tompkins. That's what I'm going to do. That's what I'm going to do. And Run Stopper is a scheme fit for Deshaun Hand. Just fits the team better anyway. I mean, this is beautiful now because Deshaun Hand at Run Stopper, I guess he doesn't get the scheme fit right there. Plus three tackle. He's so close. The next upgrade will. And uh, Deron Payne, he's our nose tackle. We need him to be dominant at shedding blocks. And he's not as dominant as he needs to be. He's played really well this year, don't get me wrong, but 90 plus block shed up. I mean, imagine how much better he would be. That would be massive for the boys. Cameron Ford has to be real close to another upgrade. I mean, it's another game. Of, it's not even another game. It's another uh, training. He'll have then another upgrade point. Braxton Turner will be back for the next game. Anthony Walker... Doesn't really matter. It was up to a 78 overall temporarily. Plus two block shit. Plus two man. Plus three zone. Oh, it's because his coverage is terrible. That that happened. And Eric Hudson. I don't even know what to upgrade on him. He plays such a hybrid role for us. That speed is crazy good. The coverage is pretty good too. I don't know. Maybe we, maybe we do pass coverage for him. Kind of make him... Oh, plus one speed? Oh, you're kidding me. 88 speed now. 67 zone. What we could do is start Eric Hudson at left outside linebacker and have Romeo Aquara only play rush end. That's thinking. Also, look at the boosts, how great this team is playing up to right now. Russ Clemens is an 89. Richard Russell is going to be playing up to an 80. Still focused on run support there. We got to make him a linebacker. And uh, you know what? He's been eating right. He's been beefing up a little bit. Uh, it's, it's been a full season of him playing linebacker. Richard Russell is now going to be 220 pounds. Still a little undersized, especially at 5'11", right? But uh, we're still moving into that storyline. I think it makes a lot of sense. And he is an 80 overall with, you know... 
with the boosts currently. Looking pretty good. But that is going to do it for me, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next one. Take it easy. Taking it back to the house, defense a joke, I'm laughing so loud.